Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I would like to continue where we left off on our last video. In our last video, we installed OBS Studio, Open Broadcaster software. And what we're going to do now, the very first time that I install it and open it for the first time, there's still a couple of things that I always like to do. So here you can see that OBS version 21 is open. So let's go ahead and maximize the uh, window here. And what I like to do is go up to File and go down to Settings and just double check a couple of settings. So if you look underneath Settings and go to the General tab, you can see that by default it's the dark theme. In previous versions they used what was called the light theme, previously known as the default, but I do prefer the dark theme. So I'm going to leave it on dark. Uh, I'm going to go to the Stream tab. Now, I am not going to be streaming, so you can see that the default service is Twitch, but you can change that to YouTube or Facebook, uh, and then you can enter your Stream key there. Let's go down to Output. This is probably the most important one the very first time that you open OBS Studio. And one of the most important things is to come down here where it says Recording Format, and by default, it is on FLV, which is the Flash format, and I always change that to uh, either MP4 or MKV. MP4 is a little bit more common. There may be some more advanced features that you may need MKV format, but generally for a beginning user, MP4 is probably the best setting to leave here. Now, as with all these settings, you'll have to play around with them, depending upon the speed of your computer, the processing power, the graphics ability, and so forth. Uh, you can change your recording from high quality, medium size, to indistinguishable. Again, that depends upon your PC, so that will just take a little bit of experimentation. I'm going to leave mine on high quality, and that's okay there. And then the other thing that uh, I sometimes will do, just to show you that the, the uh, setting is here, if I change my output from simple to advanced, you can see that we have tabs specifically for streaming and recording. That gives you a little bit more granularity that if you want to go down through here, and once again, change your recording format for recording from Flash to MP4. And uh, that gives you the ability to come out here and uh, you know, change, change those settings. Now then for audio, uh, I generally leave, leave this alone. I already have my microphones plugged in. So I'm just using the uh, standard desktop audio uh, as my audio device for the default. Uh, again, you can come in here and tweak these a little bit. For video, uh, if you remember, I went through that wizard whenever I installed OBS and it asked me for my screen size. So that's where you see the 1920 by 1080 and my 30 frames per second. Hotkeys are a little bit more advanced. You can come in here and assign certain key combinations for like starting, recording, stopping, and so forth. And then, of course, we have an advanced tab uh, to tweak the settings a little bit more. But probably most importantly, just double check the general field here, make sure everything's there. And on the output, make sure that you do change your recording format to mp4 and then i'm going to hit apply uh, to, to uh, make those settings stick and you can see that it, it gives me a warning here that uh, mp4 file cannot be finalized uh, for power losses and things like that so if you if you know if your computer runs into problem that that might be a reason to change over to that mkv format so that gives me this, the basic settings, and I'm set up, and now then I'm ready to go on and actually begin using OBS for the first time, where I can set up my scenes and sources. So until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.